Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, the white stuff has been coming down most of the week. But although the field's been under a tarp, reports say snow flurries will not be stopping anytime soon. Could be looking for a ball control type game here, if the teams can. Denver, Green Bay, it's go time. These fans have been tailgating for hours, and now they are just moments away from what they've been waiting for. Hi folks, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to historic Lambeau Field. My good buddy Peter O'Keefe is with us, and Peter, the story of this one has to be the battle at the receiver position. Well, Dan, when you have two great receivers on the field, you know it's going to be exciting. Sutton, he's a magnificent talent. He's clearly one of the very top receivers in the National Football League. He uses his remarkable speed to burn defenders and make big plays. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Watson is a very gifted receiver. His good leaping ability gives him an advantage when it comes time to elevate to haul in a high pass. Well, oh, better watch out because both of these guys have a chance to make some big plays today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. I'll try heads. It's tails. Number three, kicking off for the Broncos. The ref gets the signal, and it's we're time set. For Packer football. Number three kicks it off to begin the game. Number 80 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Come the Packers on, send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Watson catches the left sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Reed goes in motion. Love throws a bullet and it's off incomplete. With the deflection. Second down, two wideouts on the field. The Packers, 35-yard line. Interceptor. Interception. Right down Bronco. at the 29. <laughs> Cooper does a great job reacting when he sees the passes off base and steps in to catch it. The snow can be such a wild card in the passing game. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Broncos are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 29-yard line. <laughs> Williams is at the 20, eventually shoved out at the 19. First down, First down. Number 20 lets the ball carrier get past the markers and a bunch more before you can stop him. There's the push to send him out of bounds. Very forceful, but really almost pointless. Yeah, like smashing the barn door after the horses are already escaped. They're going air. They're First going and air. 10. Ball at the 19. Williams gets the call again and takes it upfield. Williams, Williams is one of those prototypical backs. 5'10, 220. This guy fits the mold perfectly. Able to dodge defenders with his slick moves and trick maneuvers, he's also strong enough to take them head on. Watch the 
Second down, five yards to go. Williams carries it for a third time in a row and barely picks up the first down. Williams can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. <laughs> hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. Williams cruises out to the left side and rambles for about five. Nobody's going in our Second house, baby. Goal. Strong back, Ball strong at the four-yard line. Well, we got an excellent running tandem in the backfield, Dan. Watch out for them here. Number 80 goes in motion. Williams has his number called on second down and picks up a couple. Third down, just a single receiver on the field. it away on the coverage incomplete that will bring up fourth and goal alexander managed to disrupt things he got in there and he smacked that pass away great d that was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down i love to see big d on third and short situations fourth down <laughs> defenses love to hear that from the refs the they take the lead good. Number three, didn't let the snow nor the sleet deter him from nailing that kick for three points. Number three, kicking off for the Broncos. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three, kicks this one away. Number 80, catches it back at the one. Drag down at the 24. Number 80 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Packers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 24-yard line. Jacobs gets the toss and passes the line. Runs out at the 33. Jacobs picked up a few yards on that play, but had to head out of bounds before he got to the markers. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Watch the screen. Second Watch and the inches. Screen. Ball at the Packers, 33-yard line. No. Jacobs gains five on the play, and that brings up first down. Jones gets the sack at the 37. Jones dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Jacobs picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, Let's regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls, or wide receivers for that matter. Number 88 goes in motion. Love really rifles this pass, and it's pass not is reeled in. Incomplete. Number 88, Number 88 ran a long seam on that last Number one, but he couldn't make the, the grab. Cover. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. Number 19 gets ready to punt this away. 
Number 19 takes the long snap and punts it away. Franklin feels the punt at the 22. Tackled at the 28. Franklin got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Broncos get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Number 10 throws a heater right sideline and it falls incomplete. With the deflection. Second and 10. Ball at the Broncos, 28-yard line. Number 82 first hauls in the pass, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 82 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. And that'll do it for That's quarter number one. Quarter. The Broncos with a small lead, three to nothing. Reynolds goes in motion. 18. 18. 18. <laughs> Number 10 floats it to the right side and Passes it is not complete. reeled in. Incomplete. Number 52, Number 52 did a brilliant job keeping watch over his zone. That pass didn't have a chance. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second, second down. And 10. Second down, one man back. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Sutton looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. The incompletions keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Number 19 goes in motion. Number 10 rifles it out left side, and this one is incomplete. Number 10 thought he could beat the double coverage, but the pass was incomplete. Now he is 0 for his last three passes. And, you know, you can tell he's starting to get frustrated. Yeah, all he needs to do is calm down and make the throw. Dixon lines up for the punt. Dixon takes the snap and punts it away. Number 80 feels it at the 10. Breaks the tackle. Hammered down at the 23. Number 80 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Packers have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Wilson goes in motion. Jacobs loses about three, and that brings up second down. Face mask, number zero, defense. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Cooper Repeat held the face down. mask back there, but it was kind of iffy. That's a five-yard penalty and a right call. First and six. Ball at the Packers' 26-yard line. Wilson bobbles and drops it incomplete. 
Wilson, Wilson had that one come receiver. right to him back there. You Peter have to catch the those passes, baby. Peter, even though he's a back versus a wideout, it, it's still rare to see him drop those. Yeah, you're right, Dan. For, for a back, he's got great hands. And six. Ball at the Packers' 26-yard line. Jacobs chews up four yards, and that will bring up third down. Third down, tight end to the left. Ball at the Packers' 30-yard line. Watson goes in motion. Wilson catches the hard throw, and he will be short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Number six brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Franklin fields the punt at the 30. Brought down at the 38. Franklin did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Broncos are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their 38-yard line. Williams will get the carry on first down and heads out right. Drag down at the 42. Number 52 with the tackle. Second down, two tight ends in the game. At the Broncos, 42-yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Williams had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Number 19 snags the dart right sideline, and they convert on third down. Number 19, got a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. Sutton goes in motion. Number 10, throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Number 10 had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, three wideouts in the game. It's intercepted. The 39. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Packers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 39-yard line. Love sings it to the right side, and it's complete at the 44, and he's stopped right there. Love has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he struggled to get 21 yards and no touchdowns. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Jacobs gets the call on second down and chews up about four on the play. Number five with the tackle. 
Jacobs, Jacobs will get stopped at the line, and that brings up Number fourth six. down. With the tackle. Don't let him Number 19 deep. lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 19 gets the ball and punts it away. Franklin gets it at the 10. Stopped at the 20. The Franklin racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Broncos have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 20-yard line. Number 10 just rifles this one, and he connects Number for a pickup of four complete. on the play. Cooper Number 82 took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. Second the last two five. passes his way were oh, incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Second down from the eye. Williams carries it past scrimmage and maybe picks up one on the play. Williams used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Number 10 throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. And that'll do it for the first the half of this of one. The Broncos with a small lead, three to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and i tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Broncos should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Cooper is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. After driving 27 yards on six plays, number three gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone, but the short field goal is up and good. Connect on the field goal. The Bronx towards the end of the first quarter. Bronx leading by three. Number 10 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Bronx on defense. Number 20 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are down, but still in it. Three to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Cooper has been unstoppable. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Broncos will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy the a small lead, three to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. Franklin decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. All these numbers point to one thing, Dan, a defensive struggle. They can't get complacent. A single score will change the whole complexion of the game. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Mike Shanahan talked to me during the half and he said he was proud of the way the defense had locked down the field so far. On the other hand, he said, they've looked a bit sloppy on offense. He really wants them to come out strong and execute well in this half and try to put this game out of reach. Dan, back to you. Thanks, Susie. Burton goes in motion. Smith tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. 
Number 91 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Number 97 tracks him down and gets the sack way back at the 10. Number 97 comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the O-line, Dan? Did, did they just give up? Oh, that quarterback's going to be pointing fingers on that one. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Number 19 goes in motion. Number 10, rifles it out left side and caught. However, it's short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Number 25, let his man get some yards on the play, but then he stopped him. Let's check it out. Yeah, he saved the play by tackling him before the marker. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. Dixon gets ready to punt this away. Dixon gets the snap and punts it away. Number eight fields the punt at the 36. Brought down at the 41. Number 80 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. Packers will start this first play of the drive at their 41-yard line. Slides down at the 46. Second and five. Ball at the Packers 46-yard line. Jacobs will take the handoff and choose up about four on the play. Number six brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. They don't allow them to convert, Third but they did one. allow them to get very ball close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Third down, both tight ends left. Number 85 goes in motion. Jacobs takes it for his eighth carry and gets well past the markers for a first. Morgan cleared out a huge lane for the ball carrier back there. Had 10 or 15 more lanes and he would have had a bowling alley. A big gain on third and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Jacobs carries it for the ninth time and heads wide right. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 25. That will bring up first down. Jacobs makes a great play here, picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, and eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Nice play. He got what he needed, and then he headed for the sidelines. He gets another call, and he's carried the offense on his shoulders for these last three plays. <laughs> hey, until it stops working, there's no reason to look elsewhere. Chews up nine yards, and that will bring up second down. Jacobs stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Four plays in a row, he's taken the load. They are moving through the defense. Hey, there's no reason to give it to anyone else right now. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Reed goes in motion. Cooper tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Cooper was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Absolutely. Love throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. 
Wallace came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 44 kicks it from 34 yards. It's good! Number 44 looks in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 44, booms a beauty here. Franklin decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Franklin took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Broncos stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Number 82 catches the heater left sideline and tries to get free. Finally dropped at the 28. It will be first down. Number 82 capped off a nice catch with a solid run. Great play. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First and 10. Ball at the 28-yard line. Burton goes in motion. There's a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. So three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. Second down, two receivers to the left. Ball at the 30 yard line. Stokes hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Stokes completely breaks up the pass. You know, he owned that zone so clearly. Yeah, I bet he comes in on his days off to repair the turf. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Number 10 unloads this one to the left, and the catch is made at the 12. And he's in for the touchdown. Number 17 makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. Great effort to get him into the end zone, Peter. Yeah, that's how to play the game, 110%. Number three to attempt the extra point. Number 10, holding. Here's the extra point, and somehow he misses it. What in the world? Oh, you don't see this much. And if you did, there would be a lot of kickers looking for work. Watch this. Whiff! No good. That is embarrassing. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three rockets this one deep. Number 80 decides to take it out of the end zone. Dragged down at the 19. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a ton of action, but they're not out of it yet. Their D is playing strong, and a little offensive rhythm could turn this game around.
number 80. Got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Packers will start this drive at their own 19-yard line. Number 29 That's makes a play on this and well, forces yeah, the incompletion. Oh, turn it on. Yeah, that's it. Love has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he struggled to get 21 yards and one interception. Second and 10. Ball at the Packers 19 yard line. Jacobs barrels off his left guard and rambles for about five. Third down, five yards to go. Ball at the Packers 24 yard line. Reeves catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Love throws into a crowd here, and by some miracle, gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered, and they just couldn't get to the ball in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instinct. They make a completion, but their short game doesn't seem to be worth the time they're investing in it. Well, even when they finally do connect, it's not really moving the ball. They need to think bigger. Jones sacks him back at the 38. Jones does a great job stopping the quarterback cold in the backfield. They lose a couple of yards, but it's the feeling of dropping the quarterback that matters. Right. It, it's so important to stop and appreciate the little things, like a flower or a rainbow or a, 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 a tortured face on a quarterback, for crying out loud. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Wallace makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Wallace got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Third down, empty backfield. Love throws a beauty to the right side, and it's off. Incomplete. Number 13, Number 13 was, was open on the outskirts there, but just couldn't make the grab. The Incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 19 lines up for the punt. Number 19 takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Franklin fields the deep punt at the 16. Stopped at the 29. Franklin returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Broncos' offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Number 10 zings it to the right side, and it's caught at the 34, and he stopped right there. Reynolds got wide open and made the easy grab. Great job to take advantage of the D's confusion. That is only his first catch of the game, believe it or not, and it took all the way into the fourth quarter to get it. Pretty unusual to not call his name for this long. It is, and he's surprised it took this long as well. He loves to see the ball coming his way. Burton goes in motion. No good, incomplete. Number 82 looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Williams has his number called on third down, and 
that gets tackled short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Walker made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great D. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Dixon lines up to punt after the three and out. Dixon gets the snap and punts it away. Number 80 catches it at the 21. Brought down at the 30. Number 80 did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Packers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.54. Love floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 29 was in man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down and four wideouts in the game. at the Packers' 30-yard line. Reed pulls it in right side and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. First and ten. Ball at the 45. Love throws a heater right sideline and the reception is made for a first and more. First tackled and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. First down, goal to go. Dan, watch for the quarterback tight end connection right here. Jacobs gets the call on first down and he stopped. The clock continues to run. With the tackle. Second and goal. Ball at the one. Pitch it up. Goal 74. Pitch it up. Goal 74. Rips him down Jacob in the backfield, the and the clock will continue Jacob to run. Third down, three wideouts in the game. No good. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. The intended receiver, number two, with the coverage. Fourth and goal. Ball at the one. Gets the sack, and that will force a turnover on downs. Number 97 got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. The offense just cannot come up with a conversion. They knew they needed a TD to catch up. Yeah, they had to go for it, but that's got to eat at this team that they couldn't deliver. The Broncos will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 22. Reynolds goes in motion. Williams carries it for the 12th time and hands wide left. The Packers take their first time out. Second down, the Second clock is stopped at 17. Ball at the Broncos, nine yard line. Williams picked the Packers, will take a timeout. That's their second. First and 10. Ball at the Broncos, 16 yard line. Loss of one on the play. Yeah. <laughs> 
That last play wasted enough time to allow them to run out the clock now. All they need to do is sit on it, and this game is in the bag. The and that is going to do it for this one. The Broncos come out on top, 9-3. to three. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Broncos stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 10 connected with his man on this one. The ball at the 44. Jacobs would find an opening here, and he was off. That set up a 34-yard field goal. The Bronx trying to answer back. Game tied, three all. Number 82 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. Love would find his target on this one. Packers behind, nine to three. Number 88 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bronx edge out a win, nine to three. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number 10 is on the sidelines with Susie Colbert. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really showed up today. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What put you guys over the top? Well, I have to give it up to the other team. I got to give them credit for playing hard and making us really work for it. We just leave it all on the field and let the chips fall where they may. And luckily, we came up with the win today. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.